I hope everyone is doing okay. Hope you're doing well. I am done with grocery shopping <clears throat> and I am pretty much on a grocery shopping high and I'll share that with you whenever I get home but all of that to say if you are around a food lion in your area now is the time to shop this sale started on the 22nd March 22nd I didn't realize that it goes through the 11th so that's through this month I mean through this week the shopping week um, but is there 25 cent off sale that is on their brand of items their store brand and it is a killer deal um, for example they are um, canned vegetables that would be like their green beans um, corn sweet peas mixed vegetables um, those are on sale this week for two for a dollar which is 50 cents of course and then you get a quarter back per item up to 40 items and or up through 40 items and so the canned vegetables come out to 25 cents each um, their tuna is on sale for 66 cents or that might be the normal price for tuna so that would be what um, 40 one cents a can um, they, they have some frozen vegetables like the California blend and it looks like an oriental blend for 99 cents a bag 12 ounce bag so that's 75 cents a bag um, anyway so I'll share all of that with you and give you the totals so far we're up to $95 Last month, for our first week, we spent um, $300 for our first week, and so we're going to be at a little bit, a little bit more than half of that um, this month. So we're starting off with um, being able to have a little bit more to spend later in the month and also with this killer sale I just went to and I, it's not going to be my last time going I'm going again um, I'm very excited about that so um, just a little life update we still have the cold or whatever this is flu whatever you want to call it in our family let's see three are having it right now two children and James and so that's what's going on with that um, also um, I don't know if I told y'all James is having a surgery on the 26th of this month for his knee and also Jesse is going to have some surgery it's um, a bizarre happening um, we, we were just going for a consultation to for braces just so we would know a ballpark figure of how much they would cost um, because we were going to get his braces on this year until James injured his knee and we had already made the appointment for the consultation so we just said we would go ahead and get the um, go to the appointment anyway so that way this coming year Lord willing we could do the braces so we went to the consultation and they found a shadowed spot inside his lower gum up front they didn't realize what it was um, and so they sent us to an oral surgeon well we have our favorites with doctors and being especially the oral surgeon um, Dr. Wateka is the best around and so um, we went to him he looked at it he said you know I'm 90% sure there's nothing to worry about he said uh, but we're gonna do a scan again and see um, if a different angle would show something different or whatever 
Um, and he said, while we're looking at that, though, we're also going to look at your at his wisdom teeth because um, it looks like the wisdom teeth roots are either wrapped up in his nerves or going to be very soon um, as they grow bigger or longer. They're going to be coming in contact with the nerves, nerves back there if they have not already. And besides that, um, somehow skin every once in a while can encapsulate, encapsulate your wisdom teeth and cause cysts, he called it. I don't think he said tumor, cysts, around your wisdom teeth below the surface of the gum. And he said that uh, whenever they take out the wisdom teeth, they're going to have to do two. Uh, they're going to have to do a biopsy. And uh, because there's two types of cysts that can grow around the wisdom teeth, one of them, uh, you take the wisdom teeth out, you don't have to worry about it anymore. You go about your life, and it's over with. But the other kind, um, they regrow inside and it's an ongoing process um, I don't know if you have to keep getting them taken out or what we have not gotten that far yet so anyway they're doing a scan this Monday to see what is going on with that um, whether this shadow there's nothing wrong with it he's 90% sure there's nothing wrong with it he tested Jesse's teeth there's no um, pain or anything when he tapped on his teeth he did some kind of burning machine thing I don't know what that was um, that was weird um, he said that things look good with that so anyway Jesse and James both are having surgery this year we certainly weren't planning for one of them much less two of them and here we are with that with all of the sickness that we've been having going on and just busyness of life, I had to extend our school year for two more weeks. I was hoping Good Friday was going to be the last of our school, but no, it's um, I'm extending it two more weeks and um, so we can get some more work done. So. We are taking off three days to go to a camp meeting week after next and um, we will have two more weeks past, ten more days past Good Friday of school and then Lord willing we will be out. Um, so anyway. I'm going to show you my haul whenever I get home, Lord willing, as long as the wind doesn't blow us away. It's mighty windy here after the storms we had yesterday. And um, so I can show you that haul whenever I get home, as long as the wind doesn't blow us off the road. Talk to you later. Bye.